And uh, the topic the, uh, of my paper is William Blake, A Ghost of Flea and Visions of Daughter of the album in From Hell uh, that was written by Alan Moore, created by Ed Campbell and uh, was published in Table Magazine, created by Steve, Steve Bitsit. So, uh, From Hell uh, had uh, the single format editions uh, in 1999 and resulted in a volume of 507 pages. So, included not only comic books, but also a detailed appendix in which more all the content, his readings, and ideas for each page. Um, so, uh, we bring here uh, two topics, uh, the graphic novel, uh, that was illustrated by Campbell, uh, as I told you, uh, and the, the, two, the second point uh, from Hell uh, that presents uh, some references about the author, William Blake and the Ghost of Lee and Visions of Dora. So here are the two authors. Uh, so a lot more uh, likes and uh, a lot uh, the works of William Blake and research uh, all, most of them. So from Hell uh, presents uh, a critic of the class system of Victoria culture. In addition, Moore's uh, narrative dives into the architecture, occultism, and mythology of the period, uh, relating these themes uh, to what chapels, murders of women, so the crimes committed in the year 1998 are recreated by the duo Moore and Campbell, as the Victorian period never ceased to be investigated uh, by several researchers. Uh, Moore established a dialogue with the work uh, Jack the Ripper, The Final Solution, 1977, uh, written by Stephen Knight. So here are the covers. Uh, the first one is in Portuguese, Do Inferno. <laughs> so I focus on the Blake elements presenting from Hell's narratives. Just a little bit I'll show you here. So the elements that range from William Blake's biographical description mentioned throughout the main character's journey uh, through the London streets. So uh, the, these references, for example, the visions of Doro uh, of album Ghost of Lee and poems London and Jerusalem, uh, wrote by William Blake. Uh, all these uh, uh, works more and Campbell studied the biographical paths of the engraver and poet, which are coded adapted, analyzed, and transposed for graphic narrative. So in addition, the, there are dialogues in which aspects of Blake's works are rescued. Uh, I'll bring some examples, just some pages of from hell here. And this, this page, uh, uh, the, there are five frames uh, in which, in the first three, Gunn explains to his intellectual details about the geographic, uh, the geography of the region until culminating the mystery in a mystery and the resonance. Uh, in the fourth frame, Gunn says, uh, "This is Street Albion Drive." Echoes poetry, Blake's insane prophecies and visions. As labeled uh, the Taurus of Album with a trembling lament. Ha ha ha. For the reader uh, who is familiar with Blake's work, books and the way in which female desires 
bodies and energies are uh, destroyed by mainly doubles efforts, uh, whether emotional or social, the phrase echoes Gunn's future crimes. So the final F uh, in is even more morbid, as it seems to indicate that in addition to predicting his future project, uh, go, go. In the next frame, uh, he says the protagonist, go, uh, that is uh, the Jack the Ripper here in this work, says, uh, Blake, great character, we will you let us uh, continue our journey and I will tell you more about him. So uh, uh, the character go mission this work ironically as vision of uh, a vision of Dora and Albion portrays the story about the restricted uh, the restricted space of women in which an appeal in defense of male dignity and freedom uh, is present. So William Blake's character described the sexual alienation of the falling world through the tragic and inconclusive narrative of male character Anton, the free spirit Erin, uh, and her triangular uh, relationship uh, with Telton and Bromium, exemplifying a conflict uh, relationship between emotion and reason. So uh, does the interdependence and slavery of Albion ch Albion's children are represented in this front space, while uh, the, the text itself addresses uh, issues related to female sexuality and the liberation? Both aspects were the subject of debated in the circle of radicals made up by uh, made up of uh, Mary Oldstone Craft and William Golding and Joseph Johnson, Blake's friends who shared his revolutionary ideas rising uh, from the first phase of the French Revolution. Uh, Blake's, Blake portrayed the difficult uh, related to rejection rejections and violent actions suffered by females. So uh, the story of Anton, uh, who loses the flow of Lilith uh, to the work, the work addresses issues of male sexuality here also. Uh, that uh, because uh, after being abused by Bromium, the character has to deal with the complicity and indifference, uh, silence of her lover, Telton, um, which would mean a Daniel of law, the love he feels toward Anton. So thus through the sufferings of, he, of the protagonist, Anton, Blake explores the complexity of and crisis of conventional morality in contemporary society and more uh, adapt it in this story, you know, uh, in the Victor period in society. So, I'm from hell, I don't these pages in the from hell. Also uh, express uh, this uh, meeting uh, with the ghost of Lee and William Blake in his house. Um, uh, so in another scene, uh, it is stirring the painting "The Ghost of Lee," which is uh, in evidence in the last frame of the, of the other page, but not this one. But uh, uh, the more uh, explain Jack, Jack's crimes and others by comparing him to the Blake and Monster, uh, uh, which is the ghost of Lee. And 
for the outer gum are, would be a transmutation uh, of the muscle present uh, in the work uh, go surfly. Uh, they represent uh, the women that uh, diet uh, and are murdered by this uh, monster. So all these women uh, need to to need to eliminate it and remove it uh, from the aristocratic environment by the queen. Uh, this is understood as a way of implementing the social exclusion of the female working class, which is going through a phase of extreme disrepute, being considered an open treat in the plot. So the social monsters, social monsters are seen through different interpretative perspectives. Uh, consider that the interference in the everyday life of the other characters containing something dangerous to so the exchange of signs made by more and um, new reinterpretations of the monster of and the opposite figure, figures presented by Blake. So the ghost of Lee and the gun, the main character here in the story of From Hell, they are like mirrors in the game of pictures and monsters figures because later they will eventually merge in an unusual way in, into a single character. Gun meets none other than <laughs> with a black. So continue gun and Italy. Uh, uh, the first announced uh, that Poet Blake is like a great prophet who saw ghosts as the two church churches and historic places in the city. Uh, the dialogue between the characters uh, resonates with the arts and the life of William Blake. For example, on this page, uh, at a certain point uh, in the journey, Gunn mentions Alexander Gilk. Christ, uh, William Blake's bi uh, biographer, whose re reflections are accentuated uh, in the midst of his dialogue. Uh, so, another di dialogical description refers to William Blake's biography is that the obelisk shades. Lakes, grave, and dolphin field cemetery, as declared by the protagonist. Um, and at Boonfilm Cemetery in London, Natalie and Gunn uh, walk among the graves. In the first frame, Gunn states that the lake was the month from before the age of reason, uh, from a time of magical thinking. Uh, where uh, the gods still awake, uh, walk it with men. So, and uh, so here you can see this uh, image uh, that represents uh, the first draw of Ghost of Lee, uh and Mo William Blake uh, did with his friend Riley. And uh, to my final considerations, um, I decided to put here two topics uh, that it's very important for me. The places visited by Gunn are related to the biograph biographical and the artist point of William Lake. And it's an important dialogue between the graphic novel and the biograph biography I mean, of uh, William Blake. So these points were very important for me. Thank you so much. Here are my references. See you. I will be here to answer some questions. Bye-bye.